Okay then, Rob, so let's take a look at these two swings here. Now, the left-hand one was the one at the start of the session. Like you have a full swing now again lots of good things in the thing that we saw there the problem for me there was a little bit of an over the top movement and what you tended to result in them sort of like pulled shots with your shorter irons creating a bit more of a kind of a slicier spinnier shot as the club's got a little bit longer and longer now generally as you said setup's pretty good the main issue now if we look on this left hand one was sort of your trail hip as you can see here now that green line sort of on the edge of your hip there as you went back you kind of slid through and into that green line. So you weren't really sort of rotating, you were kind of more sliding your lower half. So this leg at the back, kind of moving outwards away from the ball there, pushing to the, your, as we look at the screen, your left, but your right hand side in your person there, and moving more of a sort of tilted position. So from here now, because of that extreme kind of spine tilt, the only way you could really get back to the goal ball now was by coming over the top with that swing when you're coming over the top there now you can see your weight hanging back your hands way behind the golf ball here now almost trying to save it scoop the golf club into the back of the golf ball so feeling you want to have now on this right hand one if we take a look here now at this takeaway you can see now this green line unfortunately in the middle has just moved a little bit off center if i draw that second run here now you can see here now as you rotate a much better rotation there with that right hip now the one thing we've got to be careful of is we don't push our body towards target this way with the top half. We are trying to rotate. Your head still wants to maintain behind the golf ball to some extent, but I'd rather you sort of get this right hip working better, get that club working more behind you in more depth. Let me look at the difference in these two back swings here now in terms of how much more rotation you've got, how much further the club's gone back. You're now creating more power and more energy, should we say, that can be delivered back to the golf ball. So from this better rotation, we need to be then obviously moving our body towards target. As you can see, so the, the hip now moves away from that green line on the screen there. So you're moving towards target in this direction now on the downswing. So we've moved and sort of maintained a nice center takeaway as we've shifted and rotated our hips on the way back. Now from here, we're gonna to move towards target as you can see getting a slightly better sort of strike. The hands for me are a little bit behind the golf ball, but that'll take obviously a little bit of getting used to in practice and then through to onto your left side. But the main thing, as we said, got to work on that trail hip, get the movement in this right hip working better and better and better. Just practice rotating this all the time just to get more hip movement and rotation. Get that club delivered in the back of the ball for more this way and a nice sort of into our angle there or into into square to an angle rather than this sort of over the top movement that you had on this left hand one so work on that backswing any questions obviously give me a shout but i'll see you soon cheers Rob.